got Dubs Grubs. I'm, I'm here. I'm with my boy John Doe. Uh, we're going to try out some food spots today. We're here up first at Pangea. Uh, it's a nice black owned spot in Dallas, uh, up north in Garland. Then after that, we got Harris House of Heroes, the best wings in Dallas, easily. And then Taste, uh, Taste Away Catering, which in my opinion is the best soul food hands down in the city. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. Dessert. <laughs> we got the. Um, the shrimp and grits, so mine got shrimp, grits, and the loose sausage, some peppers. You got the, I, got, uh, I got the chicken and waffles. I still like uh, onion strips on top of it, if I'm not mistaken. Some type of strips, I don't know. I ain't brought mine, but they good. Okay, you know okay. Yeah. Good, good. yeah, I'm ready to get into it. So yeah. I'm already ready. Yeah, let's do it. So, you know, I, I know with, with restaurants and stuff, you know what's the crazy thing been going on with COVID-19. Right, definitely, definitely, yeah, definitely. It, it, it's been wild on the restaurants. I've seen really two responses. <laughs> first of all, the first thing is it's, it's empty. Like this spot right here, normally jam-packed, and then all the reservations are taken, so it's really just that it's popping, you know, but they can't have that many people in here because, you know, COVID restrictions, but I've noticed it's two types of businesses. The ones that got their marketing on point and they've been thriving. I mean, like, I've talked to business owners. They've been thriving and then then the ones that, that don't got the marketing right. and they kind of just yeah. got they sign up and they hurt. So. Right, definitely, definitely, yeah, man. And, uh, a lot of business closing down too. You know, a lot, a lot of people closing down because of COVID. Um, yeah. It's hard to see, you know, yeah. you don't want to see no business go out, but you know, the time is me in, I guess, you know, hopefully they come back sooner or later. And one thing I think that's been, a lot of people ain't giving credit to is COVID's actually started a lot of businesses. Oh, definitely, yeah. A lot of people selling plates and stuff, which I'm right. all for it. Do your thing, if you got good product, people gonna, people gonna rock with you. Oh, definitely, eat your Money, man. Yeah. Get your money. All right, so before we get into how the food is tasting, uh, I know my followers and my people know what I got going on, but I want them to know a lot, a little bit more about what you got going on. I know you're a dope artist out here, so tell us what you got going on. Yeah, so I just re recently released a tape, Joyride. Um, it's on every streaming platform. If you want something to cruise to, something you know, you to glide to, something real quick. Yeah, real something real smooth. Seven songs, about 19 minutes. So we're going, you know, car ride to work, boop, boop, you get it done with. Um, also, we had a bunch of dope interviews. Shout out to uh, sitting with Alan Zane, a whole bunch of other partners we got interviews with. Okay. And yeah, right now we're just grooving, man. You know, we got we got lots of stuff going on. Lots of stuff. Yeah, that's dope. That's that's up. Up. Okay, okay. All right, so we at the next spot, man. This got the best wings in Dallas, uh, Harris House of Heroes. So we already placed our order. Uh, so while we're here, uh, you in the sports at all? Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. What, what teams yeah. you like? What teams you like? Um, NFL. I'm a Saints fan. A college football, USC fan, baseball, Dodger fan, but my biggest team's the Lakers. Though. Like, okay. I'm a Lakers okay. fan. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. That's definitely. what's up. I'm a Lakers fan too. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Handling the business. How you feel about the bubble? What, how you feel about? I think the bubble is cool. Um, I don't have to live in a bubble. You know, yeah. they've been in there since what June, yeah. July, something yeah. like that. So I can only imagine what it's like to be in one spot. And you know, people forget they're at work. You know, yeah. what I'm saying no matter how much you love the sport, imagine being at work away from your family for that long. Yeah. So you know, I commend the, the brothers for even playing this long and doing yeah. that. You know, shout out to Adam Silver. For keeping it safe for them too. Yeah, it's really but, yeah, yeah, it really, really is dope. But um, the bubble itself has been some really good basketball, man. Shout out to the Nuggets. You know, I've never been a Nugget yeah, fan, but, but but they were hooping on Murray and all them. You know, Houston tried to do something, but you see how that went. You know, <laughs> they were that, that was a, yeah, that was an L. They thought at the game. They, they thought they had they won one game, and all of a sudden, oh, we got the series. Oh, okay, <laughs> gentlemen, sweet homie. Made you know what I'm saying? Up, like, what's up? Appreciate you, Houston. Oh, yeah, we love you, Houston. I'm gonna go down there and eat some food and see you next know, year. See you next year. See how that go. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, definitely they're doing a real good job because we've seen these other sports like even today NFL is breaking out with all these COVID cases. Cam, prayers up for you. That one hurt my heart. Uh, right? a lot. Yeah, so yeah. the NBA, they did the whole thing. Yeah, Not a single thing, COVID right? case, yeah. one breach, and they, they got Eddie House at, or House or whatever yeah. out of here. Yeah, man. Yeah, so. Got the Lemon Pepper Loop. You yeah, know what I'm saying? You know, oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. Really Houston, they was the yeah. only teach. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only team tripping for. Right. So, yeah, NBA, that's what's up. Yeah, so most definitely. Most hopefully definitely. the NFL can get it together and we get football season. Hey, yeah. I give it eight weeks. Yeah. I give it I give it. I'm going to be weeks. realistic. I yeah. give us another two. Yeah, I'm going to say, y'all, yeah, and I'm being real optimistic. Because with hey, the injuries yeah. and now we get injuries, COVID. Right, and COVID, oh, yeah, yeah they're going to shut this thing down. Yeah. My biggest question is, what are they going to do next year for basketball? Are they going to start in January or, or what? I was, what? In my opinion, the best, the best way for basketball, mm -hmm. this is how I feel basketball should have always 
Packers been? Start the season on Christmas, Christmas Day. Day. Yeah, that would be that dope. is that you you that push it back dope. and right. then it just it's a sixty some game. game. Right. People aren't watching all eighty two. I'm sorry, I love basketball. They're not. But I'm not I'm watching, watching all eighty two games. Right. The players, they, that's what that gets rid of low management, all that. All stuff. that stuff. Right. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Houston, you got a couple months to get the stuff together, dog. Yeah, you know what I'm right. saying? Find a coach. You know. <laughs> find a new rotation of players. Do what I gotta do. Oh man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to the Houston fans though. We heard a lot yeah. of shit talking. A lot. We heard a lot of shit talking from y'all. Oh, but you know, end of the day, the real ride to the top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we was chilling out here waiting on the food, and we, the pleasure, uh, the chef blessed us with his presence. <laughs> My guy, man, go ahead, introduce yourself to the camera, to the people. Man, how y'all doing? I'm Chef Teddy Red here at Harris House of Heroes, uh, from Dallas, Texas, uh, Oak Cliff to be exact. Raise. <laughs> nice to meet everybody. <laughs> so, so we gotta know, man. What, what's the secret? How you make the wings so, so crazy? Cause uh... yeah. <laughs> a lot of, the, a lot of the flavors that I came up with was from a, being high and broke. Yeah, <laughs> I feel it. <laughs> being high and broke. And it was just like you ain't got no ranch, so you just mix and mix yeah. and match some things and see what we got. And it worked, man. That, that's what's yeah. I remember I was telling people I, when I first had the barbecue wings, sticky wings, I came in one night, I thought it was because I was drunk. I was like, man, I gotta come back again because the wings was crazy. <laughs> we went back, fire again, and then ever since I just best wings in the city, man. That's definitely how long you been cooking? How long you been cooking? Well, you know, I've been cooking all my life, but actually doing like like being a part of a business and things, like this is my first one. Uh Devante is actually my first cousin. Okay. So uh, he actually seen something in me that I didn't see in myself. Oh, that's dope. And it was a lot of things that I, I did was because I already knew how to do it. Like I made the whole menu from a ride, you know, and it, it, it's a long story behind that too. So uh, he picked me up out of my struggle. I left everything in Houston, everything. I mean, all my clothes and bed and stuff like that, and I took a risk. And it was more of, I don't want you to fail, so yeah. I, I can do what I can in my power. That's what's up. That's dope. Uh, so I just, that's that's crazy, uh, amazing story. Just to put it in context, this is the hottest spot in Dallas uh, by far. I mean, it's empty right now during the day, but it is Every day, yeah, there's a I'm line. It's about four or five today. Man, yeah, it's today. going crazy. So I, I won't hold you too long, but I'm going to finish with the last question. What is your favorite type of wing? So if you had to pick one. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say Honey Ranch. Only reason why I say Honey Ranch is because it's, it's my, it's the most original yeah. the one okay. I made. And, like, I came up with that one. Like I said, I was high and broke. And yeah. I was in college. I went to Texas Southern. And I didn't have no ranch. And my granny gave me this little care package. And it said ranch powder on there. So yeah. I was like, oh, I can see what, what this is talking about. And I end up having like some honey. And I just use it as dipping sauce. And then wow. I end up tossing the wing in that. And then dipping yeah. it. And I was like, man, who am I? Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what did I just come up with? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then after that. Seeing the response here from that, it Man. just was, it's like our number one seller that, right That's now. what I hear about everybody, like, because I'm not, I've even had them and I like, I don't even eat ranch like that. And so, yeah. they're number one, when I ask people what you get, honey ranch, honey ranch. Mm -hmm. That is probably the number one flavor, so, yeah. hey, great job and congrats to you, man. Oh, appreciate, appreciate that. You. Be looking forward, though. Uh, I want you to try them first, hey, though. Uh, I have an eight-piece wing. It's gonna cost $175. Oh, yeah, that, that's well, gonna I'm, be great. I'm gonna let you get a taste. Hey, you know hey, what I'm hey, saying? Let me know. So, <laughs> All right, it's, gonna, it's gonna be live, 24 carats. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, okay. okay. I, would, I would like that meal live. I appreciate yeah, you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, very yeah, nice to meet you. Let me know. Let me know. Nice to meet you, too. Me nice okay. All right, y'all. So, the uh, food is here, but before we get into that, I heard. The new season of Snowfall just dropped. So go ahead, what up? Yeah, so pretty much, man, so far, recording the new season, I'm up to season three, I'm just, I'm a late bloomer on it, but that, that joint is crazy, man, like, it's crazy, like, it really shows the details of what happened in L.A. during the times of, you know, the crack epidemic and how that stuff, you know, came together. Like, I kind of knew some of the stuff, but, like, researching it and actually watching the show made me, like, damn, you go back, yeah, you go back, go back yeah, right, do some real research, it's dope, y'all really rock, but y'all, John Singleton, rest in peace to John Singleton, okay, yeah, that whole thing is dope, man, it's a dope thing, yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to 
Ozark and Money Heist, those two new seasons too. Man, Ozark was crazy. Yeah, yeah Ozark man, was crazy. That That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, she had to do her brother like that, though. Yeah, she had to do her brother like that. I'm still gonna tell her. Go, man. Man. Bro, they they say that, bro. They could have figured out something else, man. Uh, he was, yeah. I hate him, bro. He was the worst, but, but definitely. Yeah, so Money Heist, I, I'm liking that too. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's one of the few foreign shows I'm actually like, just, I just yeah. watch like that, you know what I'm saying? Because the, the professor, the way he breaks them down, mentally, yeah, he's mentally like, like, yeah, I, I love that. I love that, man. It's dope. Cool, it's dope. Cool. So let's go ahead and uh, get into the wing play. Right, right, right. So, all right, so let's try it out. I'm gonna go ahead with that uh, lemon pepper barbecue first. Let's see. Can I get the go box? As well. Yeah, I'm good. Nah, I'm gonna eat this one. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we were gonna hit a taste of whey and get some more soul food, but we were one a little full and two we wanted to try something sweet. So we pulled up to Kessler Baking Studio, which is a black owned bakery. Uh, Kessler, we're glad to see us able to, you know, stand tall with Corona going on and all that. We got movies and fall records, places like that closing down. You hear about all this stuff? Yeah, I heard about it, but I ain't gonna lie to you, I wasn't really motivated or touched about it. You know, <laughs> every time I think of movies, I think of my, I love my grandparents, you know, yeah. and they make some bomb ass jello though. You know, something big. They got a strawberry one too. This thing built like a brick. You know what I'm saying? The strawberry one looked real good, but I didn't want to, you know, experiment too much today. I'm, uh, you know, I'm already feeling it from the other two spots. So yeah, let's see what it tastes like. Man, this is my favorite part. You know, Ooh. yes sir. Oh, look at this hanging out. Good. Good grip. So. Catch the, uh, the debate the other day See about the president. Oh, well, I ain't my president. I don't, I don't know president. He ain't mine, but I, I call a little bit of it. Yeah. Um, I try to stay informed of politics, but not get too deep into politics because at the end of the day, they're politicians. You know what I'm saying? So they're self serving. So, but go and vote. Uh, get that dude out of office, you know. And hold old boy accountable if you do get the ticket. You know what I'm saying? It's one thing to get him in, another thing to hold him accountable. You know what I'm saying? And your local ones. That's what you read the vote for. Look at your local ones, see what they're doing. Because they don't want to affect our day to day. President's cool, whatever, he's a figurehead, but your local one's really an important one. Oh, oh man, Matt, your votes matter. Both Please definitely. be educated. Yeah, I'm not a big person on politics either, but make sure you register and you take the time to vote because every vote counts. And it really goes a long way. Oh, okay? definitely. Oh, definitely. Even in a time when we got some bad candidates. Right, right. You know, crazy it is what stuff it is. You know, yeah. candidates ain't great, but what the options we got right now? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta choose. Yeah, yeah. yeah Better than having no vote. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we go. That's, that's coming to an end. We're about to close out the day. A uh, day with Dubs. Uh, here with my boy, John Doe. Uh, you got anything to say to the people before we head on out? Yes. Program? Follow me on uh, all social media, John Doe, J-A-H-N-D-O-U-G-H-7203. That's my Instagram, that's my Twitter, that's pretty much everything. And check out Joyride, I promise you, you're not going to regret it. It's, it's a cruise tech, man. Y'all going to love it, definitely. All right, so what would you rate? So first, we'll start out with Pangea. What would you give your rating on that uh, the chicken and waffles you had? Out of five, I'll give a chicken and waffles a good 4.5. I think it's busted. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's busted. Yeah. I personally, for the shrimp and grits, I'm going to give it a five. And I, my people say I'm real tough. But uh, I'm real tough on ratings, but it was hidden. I mean, maybe a little spicier, but it was fire. Fire. Nice. Uh, so, Harris House Heroes, the wings. Oh, the wings are five and five. It's not, it's not even a discussion. Those yeah, wings are busting. Those things are stupid. You know easy. what I'm saying? Yeah. Harris, easy. Like, pull up and try them if you're in Dallas. If you don't believe us, 